I don't really go out anymore. Okay, that's not completely true. I'm not a recluse after all. And I have been all over solar. Take, for instance. I don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be fine. You see something in me. For me, it takes time. And I know I got feelings. I know you do too. So let's work on it, gotta make things fit Cause I'm right here for you ooh, ooh. No, I don't wanna be tough I just wanna be here and fall into you Don't wanna be seen Nobody sees through me the way you do And I can't hide Cause you break me down and you ease my mind My mind I'm waking up with you Little moments like these and I'm definitely fun still. And I'm definitely not trying to convince myself I'm still fun. I just don't really go out anymore. I could tell you it's because I'm so overwhelmed with work. Or the U.S. visa process has just been so draining. It has. Or I have a dog. Of course I have to spend time with her. She's my baby. But I like to think... Maybe it's just because I got lucky. My first job in Soar literally landed me in this unassuming neighborhood called Pumun. When my husband moved into my one-room apartment with me, we just never left the area. To us, there is no better place to go for a walk or chill in a cafe or get a delicious meal. More times than I would like to admit, when visiting another must-try restaurant or cafe, I left with the thought, I should have just gotten a coffee at my usual spot. Or damn, the Kamjitong place next door to us really is unbeatable. So today, I want to introduce Pomun. To us, it's the best neighborhood in Seoul, and it just so happens to be the place we call home. So we might have lied. This video is not just about Pomun. Right now, we are in Sungshin University area. We wanted to go straight to Pomun, but we're really hungry for something small. Uh, we're heading to the sandwich place that you, we used to go to. Yeah, sandwich. I think it's literally called sandwich. Sandwich house. Yeah, sandwich house. It's amazing. The deli meat, the cheeses she uses, it's pretty spot on. So uh, The if, lady is very nice. She's very super nice, nice yeah. We used to come here quite often. So yeah, we're going to grab a sandwich before we head over towards Beaumont. B.S. Marte. There's dinosaur pasta. I actually really want this. Oh no. So cute. This one's very good. Oh, remember? Costella? They have a Costella cake here? It says Nagasaki Costella. We found it. Here's the menu. I usually get the, where is it? Chicken cranberry right there. at the river oh oh, sh <laughs> oh my god you guys hear that i can't with people pushing their dogs in strollers i mean it's kind of funny but like the mean ones and then they just bark at everything that passes them i'm like yo you're getting a free ride chill <laughs> going down down to the river basically any other season but now <laughs> the trees are really nice and this is actually a spot where cherry blossoms bloom mostly that way past the church going in the opposite direction but the great thing is no one flocks here to see those cherry blossoms it's basically just neighbors or students 
It's never super crowded. I got so many good shots in the past years. The Sanction neighborhood was actually my first home, but it's a 15 minute walk to Bomun Station. So Sanction University area and Bomun are right next to each other. We're on the Songtan. Yes. And if you just follow this straight, it goes for a while. I used to bike or run a lot and it connects to the Cheonggyecheon. I gotta say, this river is better than Cheonggyecheon. You can't bring your dog to Cheonggyecheon. You can't? No, you can't. Oops, I did that. Yeah. <laughs> totally did that. Yeah, you're not allowed to walk your dog like near the river. This is a Dalingi pick up and drop off area. So if you want to rent a bike, you can do it right here. And we're gonna walk onwards to our first cafe. to get footage in there but it's really hard because I don't want to get people in our video and also it's just very awkward. Yeah, how, do, how do YouTubers do it? How do you all do it? Yeah we're, we're yeah, keep but, uh, practicing. I like that place a lot. It's like got a Japanese theme to it so you can buy kind of like the pudding we had in Fukuoka. Yeah. Mm, we didn't get that though. My nose is red because it's cold. We're walking to our second cafe called Useless Adult. This is a, also dog friendly, actually. We used to come here a lot with uh, Charlie. It's literally this little gray building right here. You left the car that evening. The meter kept on running. You knew no dog a really big dog oh you missed him there's a lot of cafes yeah it's like an oversaturation of them i've never in my life gone out all day invented like two cafes in one day same <laughs> <laughs> it feels really stupid because you spend like 12 at least like between two people around twelve thousand one, just to sit at a cafe with a drink and we yeah. just oh look Another one, right there. <laughs> There's so many cafes around here. It's just too much money. Someone doesn't even like coffee. I don't drink coffee at all. Yeah. That's why I have tea. This is another cafe I recommend. So the front just looks like this. But when you go in the back, there is like, it's a traditional Hanok building. All right, let's go eat. We're gonna eat Goptang, which is just Goptang is literally just an intestine. But how is intestines? De right? Yeah. How is dechang different from like what are the other Goptang? So there's Goptang, there's Dechang. There's Gopchang, Makchang, Dechang. Okay, so Dechang is like the thick ass juicy one that I really like. Mm. Uh Goptang is the small ring one. Yeah. 
And then what's makchang? The end of the, the colon, right? There's an anus part, right? <laughs> that's the, that's makchang. Mak means the end. <laughs> At gopchang places, you have to make sure that they, they put a lot of effort in washing the, mm. their produce, you know? True. So otherwise, it might be stinky. Well, this is straight up but, dirty if you're eating poo poo. Yeah. Yeah, you get sick. Anyway, this place is really damn good. Usually, if you come like six or later, you gotta put down your name and wait a while. But we're here at like 5.15 and already it's pretty popping. So luckily we got right in though. Gokchang is not the, the most healthy food. It's got a lot of fat in it. And um, I have trouble breaking down fat content in my body. So uh, he's sacrificing yeah, for, the, it's, it's worth it. for the it's YouTube worth it. video right now. I love this stuff, but Simone can't stand it. What's it called? Chanyo. Huh? Chanyo. Chanyo? It's like stomach lining, right? Yeah. It's a blood soup. It's less crowded, less touristy, but it's got like authentic places mm. you can find in like places like Anguk. Mm. But also reasonable price. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not ripping you off like in other touristy areas. As you can see, it's dark now. We got to get home to our puppy. But hope that you try out the Bomun area. There's lots of really interesting cafes. There's still old style architecture. Some of the cafes are in Hanok and it's just a really nice area for walking around shopping sunction too not just bone room, but that whole vicinity thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye